Hi, this is Gary Kay. We are here at ISE 2023 on day two, the very beginning of day two. And I'm here at the Epson stand slash booth with Gavin Downey, group product manager at Epson. Gavin, how are you? Gary, it's great to see you. Good uh, to see you as well. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, first we're gonna, we're gonna do a booth tour for you. So you're gonna actually get the feeling of what it's like to be here. Um, but uh, congratulations on a phenomenal uh, couple of years for Epson. Um, and you know, the myth that projectors are dead is far from true. Uh, you guys have proven that, and uh, and uh, you're, you're going to have. I predict in my uh, case, crystal ball, which will ref which will come out next week, that Epson's going to have the best year they've had since 2015. That's my prediction for for uh, for 2023. Um, what do you think? Do you think I'm going to be right? Yeah, absolutely, Gary. I mean, I think this is probably one of the most exciting ISCs we've ever had. Yeah. Um, we were making considerable investments in projection technology throughout the pandemic, and we're so excited to be here and see all of our customers and our partners and our industry partners and talk about those investments. And uh, the products that are coming to fruition right now are really aligned with a lot of the trends that we see in the market in terms of immersive, uh, closer viewing distances, uh, mobile solutions, higher resolution. It's, it's just a great year to be here. Yeah, one of the coolest products I got to see about six months ago, which is making its debut here, is this product right here. So what this is basically is it's a it's it's kind of got it kind of vibes of a speaker bar, uh, but it what it really is is a projector, a short throw projector. You place it about six inches away from the wall, and you're able to generate a 120 inch image, something in that range. Yeah, I mean it's really nothing short of miraculous. It's a 16.6. So um, from you can put it against the wall, and we're talking about an 80-inch image, incredible 3LCD color. Um, you can wirelessly connect to it, so you can stream content to it. It's uh, 4KE, so you know it's taking 4K signals. Um, it's 5,000 lumens, which from inches away is incredibly bright. So um, you know if you're looking at schools, corporate applications, it'll do a 21:9 aspect ratio. Amazing for Microsoft Teams front row. Um, so entirely new aspect aspect ratios, higher resolution, incredible laser brightness. And when you talk about cart-based solutions, like right, people may want a mobile solution for, say it's a, a corporate huddle space or education, less than 25 pounds, absolutely mobile. So really exciting product, the A10e. Yeah, and uh, so, so you have it placed about six or eight inches away from the wall. You said right up against the wall, you're able to do an 80 inch image. This is obviously bigger than 80 inches. This is closer to probably, I don't know, what is the size of this image that you're so, producing? So, thanks for asking. I mean, it's 120 inches. Okay, so, so this is eight inches, six, eight inches away from the wall. And 120, 120, inches. 120 yeah. inches. And you're able to process 4K. And I, I see this, for me, I see this as a back of room projector for uh, instructor reference. I see this as a uh, projector you could put on a cart and wheel it around every room. And I also see this as a, a space saving projector in a lot of applications where where you actually have a credenza in the room like you're showing it. Yep. One thing that Epson's always been famous for is um, y'all started the trend at trade shows of doing a, a sort of immersive exhibits and sort of exciting exhibits to show the products actually being used rather than just showing a, a catalog of products in the show. Behind us, describe what we're looking at. And I want to make sure that I want to make sure that Dalton's getting the whole thing in here. Yeah, it's, uh, thank you, Gary. I mean, I, you're right. I mean, you see so many immersive displays here, but we were doing it five, six years ago. I mean, even the pioneering artist Rafik Anadol, his Infinity Room was uh, featured at an, in an Infocom booth in 2015. So, um, yeah, um, what we're seeing here is uh, you're seeing six 20,000 lumen projectors in portrait mode. Um, and they are all pixel stacked and blended and mapped. So it's a three-dimensional surface, so that hence the projection mapping. Um, you've got pixel stacking, so incredibly bright and in portrait mode. So really flexible implementation of several different technologies that's seamless. You don't really know you're seeing all that sophisticated, uh, you know, sophisticated features. And it's not a flat wall. If you go no. up there and look closely, you'll see that there's, you've got some depth to it and you're doing some really detailed um, image mapping, especially when you do the outlines around the, the lizard's hand. Yeah, they're using 7 cents. It's, um, it's a really nice uh, piece and you can see it from a long way away. We've got quite a bit of ambient light here, but really still looks incredible. And when you look at the amount of gear up in the ceiling, smallest, lightest 20,000 lumen uh, projector in the market, right? So very, very compact.
Yeah, it looks great. Uh, you always, like I said, impressed with these kind of things. All right, so as we if we keep on going, um, one of the things that you debuted, uh, I think probably a year or so ago, is what you called this world's smallest, lightest projector. Now you've gotten a small, uh, lighter and brighter. <laughs> you right. got a 10,000 and a 20,000 lumens projector and a form factor that looks a lot like the projectors that we used in uh, classrooms and meeting rooms for 20 years. It looks it's, it's smaller than most CRT projectors, and you're getting 20,000 lumens out of it. Yeah, I think part of the most exciting thing about this projector, and this has the dust cover on it, so it actually looks a little bit bigger, yeah. but um, you know, we launched a 6,000 lumen laser projector uh, back in 2016, and it weighed over uh, just over 50 pounds, and this is 20,000 lumens, and it weighs about the same. And I think what we're showing here at ISE is this is 8 million pixels. So this is a full 4K, 20,000 lumen projector, and we're announcing it here at ISE for the first time, and we'll be launching an 8,000 lumen, 10,000 lumen, 13, 16, and 20,000 lumen, full 4K, 8 million pixels. So this isn't 4KE? No, this is not 4KE. So this is 8 million pixels, incredible image uh, clarity, detail, and these will all be shipping in the December time frame. So a whole new range of 8 million full 4K solutions from Epson. And all of them use the interchangeable lenses that you have existing now. Uh, are, are you ha all these are interchangeable to all of your large venue projectors and, and uh, projectors that we see all around the booth, or are they limited to particular product lines? I think that's probably one of the most exciting things. We've, we've gone to great lengths to keep the same lens series. So what we're seeing now is uh, large universities that installed lamp-based solutions maybe four or five years ago. Now when they're switching or upgrading to laser, they can use those very same lenses. So they can repurpose the lenses, thereby saving them a lot of money. So absolutely. So one of the things that uh, that Epson has done, uh, probably to the frustration of your competition, is every time you enter a market category, you tend to become the lead, the leader in that category. And 10 years ago, you didn't have large venue. Like 10 years ago, you weren't even a large venue company. And now you're the leader. In education, you're the leader. In the home, you become the leader. Um, you know, what's next? <laughs> what's the category you're going after next? Yeah, I think what we're really trying to do is we're listening very carefully to our customers. I mean, I would love to take credit for that, but we've got an amazing, powerful engineering uh, team in Japan. And um, part of Japanese culture is listening very carefully uh, to the customers. So who we're listening to right now is we're continuing to listen to higher education, theater, the faith market, and live events and rental and staging. And they've all got unique needs. And those those markets are evolving quickly. And we're listening very carefully. And what you see here is a product of years of listening to them. All right. So let's. Uh, we're starting to get the booth to fill up now because the show floor is actually officially open. Um, I want to show this. Uh, you showed a preview of this at Infocom, which is um, utilizing this the six, uh, 21 by 9 aspect ratio of, uh, of Microsoft Teams front row, um, which has become really popular now. Zoom has a, a version of it as well. You're using projection. It's interesting. It looks like almost like you have a complete system here. Is this something that Epson's going to offer as a complete system, or are you showing proof of content? It's more or less, it's a, it, it's a we're going to offer, obviously, the projector, but then our partners in the integration community will offer the stand. Uh, what we're showing here is a Logitech bar. We also partner with Jabra. And um, you know it's really amazing. It's got ambient light projecting screen. It'll do 21.9. That's a 10,000 lumen projector with an ultra short throw lens. And a lot of these uh, stand manufacturers are building around our specification because our ultra short throw is a wonderful solution for this application. Yeah, and you, what's interesting about that is the speaker bar and the camera are closer to the audience and uh, are to the meeting participants, and it's placed at an angle that doesn't give you that God's view or, right. or uh, waste view. Yeah, after years of um, uh, sort of trial and error, I think, um, now we're eye level. So you're really looking at the faces of remote participants, and it's almost like you're there, which is incredible. So yeah, it's, it's a, you can actually adjust a 21.9 um, where it is inside the raster. Yeah. Um, so now all of our projectors on the pro side and even some of the fixed lens will do 21.9 to support these evolving applications. You're blanking it basically. Right. Or, yeah. So what are we what are we showing here? What's this? What what is this? Is this like a proof of concept thing or what is it? Actually, so this is a company called Artime and they are integrating our projectors into their solutions. And um, this is this is the first time they've ever debuted this 10,000 lumen solution. Um, so it's got a 10,000 lumen Epson projector. In fact, it's the same model that we saw over in the Teams. And it's c 
completely all in one. So you can roll this into a corporate uh, huddle space. You can roll so it. That's into a, a speaker classroom. and everything. Oh, it's got everything. So full microphone solution, audio solution. The audio is incredibly high quality. So it's really, really nice. That's a unique little product. I hadn't seen that before. All right, um, let's go over here and looks like you're showing uh, some some uh, image mapping and blending. Uh, which everyone wants to do now because of uh, you know we all, we all want immersive exhibits. It's a complicated thing to do, but you've kind of simplified it a lot. I, I think you really hit on a great point there. What we're demonstrating here is um, these are 8,000 lumen projectors, and with our brand new firmware that launches next month and our EPPT software, who just got revised, you can actually stack the projectors and blend them on a curved surface. So if you bought this projector six months ago, that capability wasn't built in for free. And now six it months is. ago. Wow. And now it is. Wow. So now you can do things that you couldn't do when you purchased these projectors. So you're stacking them for either redundancy or increased brightness. You're blending them all through free EPPT software that just got updated. Very cool, very cool. So you've simplified that process quite a bit. Um, and applications, obviously, command and control rooms, uh, museums. Uh, what else do you see of these, this going into? I think it's really nice for theater because you can have redundancy, right? So um, I think it's really nice for um, one-time or temporary events where you need increased brightness but you don't necessarily have access to 220 power. Uh, you want to use smaller uh, models. So it just allows you to do many more things with your projectors. All right. Are you, same thing here or is this different? It's a little bit different actually. So this is running, these projectors are on a network and it's running off of a uh, laptop. So here what we've done is we've enabled two projectors to actually do blending with no PC. You can just simply use the remote and the prompts on the remote and you can do blending. So then that when the source comes in, you don't have to do any setup? Exactly. The projectors understand where they are. It takes a source and it automatically blends them. That's really cool. Yeah, that's very cool. And uh, yeah, so here's another, you know, I haven't seen before where you've done two immersive exhibits in your booth at the same time. <laughs> this one is a lot like the Van Gogh exhibit I've been into. Uh, is it, this, is, this seems to be an intentional sort of uh, direction that Epson is going to show their products in different applications like this. Um, is this coming inspired by the projects that are already out there that, that have used Epson, or is this inspired by hey, you need to start using Epson's in these immersive exhibits. I think it's a little bit of both. I think you, re you raise really interesting points. I mean, it's more or less a complete demonstration of what's possible with Epson technology. You'll notice the projectors are really out of line of sight. You can't hear them. And they're using our ultra short throw lenses, which have negative offset. So the images are very, very tall because they can start above where the projector case is. And then everything you see here, these are 15, 20,000 lumen projectors. You really don't hear them. It's an amazing exhibit. You've got uh, uh, vision sensing cameras and the floor can be uh, responsive to you. So 15, 20,000 lumen projectors uh, running almost silently using UO4 lenses and XO2 lenses. So it's more or less a demonstration of what's possible. So the camera, the vision sensing cameras, is it mounted right in the middle? Is that always it where is. it goes? And it, that one camera is covering the whole floor? I believe so, it is, yes, that's so, true. So there's part of this exhibit that would be interactive. Certain uh, vignettes are reactive. That's exactly right. That's very cool. Is there anything else to show? And what about the Go board and stuff like that? Do you have that here? Let's go see the Go board. All right, yeah, yeah because that's, that. I know that just recently, uh, like a week ago, you introduced 12 new products. Uh, one of those was a new version of the Go board. And obviously for education, this is going to be a, an interesting piece. So this is the Go board. This is, tell me, tell me how this works. I mean, first, obviously the core element is the projector. Yeah, exactly. So this is a, a brand new uh, projector we're launching here at IC. You want to do a quick demo? Yeah. So this is Andy from our European team. Do you want to do a quick demo of the Go board? So this isn't Go board. This is a part of the uh, software. So give me just a moment. He's going to set it up for us. We're going to get a we're going to get a real time demo during our tour here. So let's go ahead and do it. Andy. Okay. So this is GoBoard. It's available now, and it's a lesson delivery system. It allows teachers to uh, create content at home, deliver it in the classroom, and in integrate uh, interact. Sorry, with uh, with students. Is it using Google Classroom, or how do they? Do no, no. It's a, it's a Epson specific uh, solution. And basically, a student can come in. They've got their own device. They can connect to the whiteboard. They can follow the class on uh, live but then they can then download the content at the end of the class and have everything that was used in the class afterwards from that qr code uh, yes from that qr code they can also if the teacher gives them permission actually control the whiteboard from their device uh, of course the teacher has to give them permission 
There's also things like uh, AirPlay and yeah, Google Cast built into it as well. So without interactivity, the students can, can share their content from their seats without having to, to get up. You can also do things like the, the teacher can set up quizzes and tests. The, the students can, can answer them in real time on their devices and the teacher gets the results immediately. Can you do a quick demo of it? Can you just show us oh, some of the... That's not set up yet, but I can, I can do a demo of the whiteboard. So there's, I'll, I'll do a standard demo for you. So. Pretty responsive, I'm impressed. And then I assume that you have different pens for different colors, or do you uh, just change the color of the pen? We can just change the color of the pen in the software. Okay, okay. So the thing I like about this one is you can just, sorry, move that around. You see here, there's, there's a number of options here. We can change it to text, to shape, or to auto draw. Yeah, I need to do the pen. I've got it set up so they use the pen. So straight, it straight away it goes. Character recognition. Yeah. Got shape recognition. Is there any AI built into this where it continues to learn? How you use it, or how does that work? It, it uses uh, Microsoft OCR, so that continues to learn. So yes, that, that's there. And then last one's my favorite. So we can auto draw, and it's going online and trying to figure out what on earth I was trying to draw. I thought you were drawing a Ferrari. Yeah, it's clear I'm not an artist. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, it just lost that at the moment. So I can pick whichever one I want. So you've, you've got the... Um, there then you can add different elements to it so if I do a quick search web search here sorry I need to get access to the keyboard because I don't use the online mouse so I haven't got a micro, uh, microphone attached but I could do this, do this verbally so if I just do a search for Epson projectors that's now going on is that searching Bing it's searching Bing it's searching YouTube um, and it's doing a, an online uh, image search so I can bring these elements in. So if I want to bring these two images in, I can just drag them onto the page. And there we go, we've got them on there. That's impressive. On top of that, if we go back to that search results, you can see the search is still there. I can bring in a video on there. And obviously that, I'm not gonna do it now because it'll start playing and it'll yeah. drown everything out. You can drag them on, but you've also got a built-in browser. Drag that over there, and a browser will come up, and that's a live browser that we can use on screen. So, full screen, so you can see that's a, a live browser. You know, your software has come a long way. Like, oh, this yes, is substantially this. Yes. better than the first time I saw it. The components are short throw projector. This is the sensor that's determining where you're touching for finger touch. Yeah. Uh, and then you have the screen itself all yep. bundled together in the Go board product line. Thank you very much, Andy. No I appreciate you doing the demo. Thanks, Andy. This is a uh, this is a pre what else are we are we covering? I think you've hit it. Yeah. All right, good. So look, this is cool. This will give you a chance to see what they're launching. And I, through this booth, you saw almost all twelve of the new products that you launched here right before the show. You yeah, said absolutely. Personally... Like you, big themes, right? So increased resolution, increased brightness, smaller size. So very compact, very precise, very efficient. Continuing to invest and really aligning with not only the applications of today but tomorrow. Yeah, one of the one one thing that I was really impressed with when I came to your headquarters for the first time is you have this big LED wall right there at the entrance that's not actually LED. It's made out of projection. <laughs> right. The first thing you think of when you see it is when I walked in there, I was like, aha, they're getting into LEDs. And all of a sudden, I realized it was projection. Yeah. Uh, so I think a lot of applications like, like the immersive rooms like this uh, are more affordable right now and projection will be around for a while uh, doing these kind of environments. So if you want to learn more, go to Epson.com, obviously Epson.com. Or of course, if you want to, we're going to go around and shoot individual videos on each one of these products, do demos in each product, so that you get a deep dive. All you have to do is go to the video search window and type in Epson to see them all. Gavin, I, I appreciate it. Thank you very Great much. I appreciate it. And, uh,